too. I would like to know why there's a homage to uh, film noir. Well, because from the first time I read the script, the dialogues were kind of sophisticated in that way, and they, you know, were driving me in that direction. Um, and so I got Claes and Elizabeth, very tall people, very <laughs> elegant people, <laughs> very sophisticated, um, like you know, like in the old you know film noirs. Yeah, and uh, there is a relation. I don't know. The, the art world is very mythified, like uh, it's part of the ruling class. Would you say? It's art a commodity that is inaccessible to many. That's why you guys do what you have to do. Or I think is is art a commodity so that's not accessible? That is not accessible to everybody. Not anymore. Mm. It's something like driving a Rolls Royce, but that you have a Picasso at home. I, I don't know. How do you <laughs> see that? Yeah, I don't know. Um. Well, it is true that art or the art world that has reached like a tipping point. I think. I mean, who can afford art anymore? You know, uh, just in you know, funds, investment funds, and it's not for the people to appreciate it anymore. Unless you go to a museum, you know, you can't um, you cannot hang uh, a famous painting in your house anymore. You know, so. so um, Clive, uh, how uh, tell us about your character and how he evolved. Yeah. He starts as a. <coughs> he's doing. Tell us about his life. Well, I mean, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, I did a film called The Square a couple of years ago, and this could sort of be the continued story of what happened to that guy, because he, this, this guy here, James, has just lost his job in a quite a big museum, mm -hmm. which that guy in The Square does. But I think James here actually goes and does stuff that the other guy couldn't have done. No. He's, a, he's a nicer guy. I think he's closer to Dracula. Yeah. This, this <laughs> one is probably closer to Dracula, yeah. Um, well, I mean, I think what's going on here is that he's super, super ambitious. He really wants his place in the art world. And now he's just lost this big job because he's like done something that he wasn't supposed to do. And now he's really trying to sort of get back into and I s he sees this as a chance to do that. I think he wants to go and, and meet with this guy to sort of get back on track. But it just fucks him up even more. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a Faustian it. tale. It's yeah, a, it is. It makes yeah. a deal with the devil. Yeah. The film starts a little like a romantic uh, light comedy, yeah. I think, between you yeah. and the Australian actors. And then uh, it turns into uh, this different thing. Now, when you go to Lake Cuomo, mm -hmm. tell us a little. Uh, you said a little the how did you you know switch i know you did it before and you know, your films in italian too but yeah i mean i don't know it's in the script um but i think that the idea of shooting um in Como, lake como the fact that it's so steep is like so dark and the sun really never gets there i mean helped the switch between you know in the mood of the film and uh, i just realized that you're drunk <laughs> I'm getting scared. No, I love, don't. I love the show. Thank you so much. You didn't yeah. know that. Huh? You didn't know that. I just saw. The, no, I've oh seen it, God. but I didn't recognize you until you said drug. You look different. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've got a beard for it, for, for yeah. one thing. Yes. No, but, uh, no, yeah. So how how important is it for you the chameleonic capacity of uh, transforming? Like I saw, I didn't know. I didn't recognize you. Um, well, that's actually not so important. Uh, if if a transformation is needed. I'm, I'm happy and would willingly do it, but um, to me, it's about the content, and 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 if you need to do like that big transformation, as um, that's in Dracula. I mean, if the content sort of asks you to do that, then that's what was needed. But I'm but I'm not sort of attracted to stuff because you need to do a big transformation. I'm I'm I was attracted to this because I thought it was a very very good story and. It's all, it was all a, a bit, you know, reading it was a bit like, um, wow, what's going to happen? You know, a real page turner, because I was like, so what's, gonna, what's going on with these two people, Berenice and James? And, and um, so that sort of did it all for me, really. Um, 